Hey everybody, Wanna Weasdom here. I forgot to mention it, but uh, every one of these unboxings we've done, Chase McCain has still been hidden and will remain a staple on the channel. If you find him, feel free to post up. He will probably continue to become increasingly hard to find as we continue to populate the pool table with a massive amount of Skylanders, so be forewarned of that. Uh, that said, he is out there. You should be able to find him. What we're going to unbox now is actually one of the first of the two legendaries that we have for Skylander Swap Force. Currently, uh, the ones that we have available are Legendary Lightcore Grim Creeper, or Legendary Grim Creeper, I guess as they refer to him there. I guess he kind of follows suit, kind of what we saw with the Giants run up here on top of the Battlegrounds box. This is actually Legendary Lightcore Chill. Have to see what they call it exactly when we put it on the game. To me, it would be Legendary Lightcore Grim Creeper. Um, just one of those things, personally, I would kind of prefer it to be, you know, a legendary Grim Creeper, so we'd have, you know, an extra power potentially down the line. Anyway, none of that really matters because we're actually going to open up the other legendary that is currently available, which is Free Ranger. Of the two that I know, uh, legendary Night Shift uh, should be coming soon. Night Shift is actually going to be available tomorrow slash today at Toys R Us. Some people, I guess the stores put him out already. Um, he was kind of the one. I made a blog post from work. Somehow, we were extremely busy. I still got it done for you. Might still crank out that video, I don't know. But uh, here in a few hours, I may try uh, to run the Toys R Us before work or something. See if I get lucky. Apparently, uh, 12 new characters, I think, total. Uh, Boom Jet, Firecrack, and Gorilla Drill, and Night Shift among the swappers. But... Uh, what Toys R Us has right now that is only at Toys R Us is, of course, the legendary carries characters, in this case, legendary Free Ranger. If you recall, I just unboxed Nitro Magna Charge 2-pack, and I selected the one that had Rattle Shake with it. This is why. Uh, that gives us a second Rattle Shake, because we had one in the 3DS starter pack. And then free ranger we had in the 3ds starter pack so this becomes number two plus it's a legendary i'm still a big fan of the legendaries even if sometimes the colorings don't go over well uh, they still have the added attributes they're special they're rare limited uh, just something i've always kind of been into so uh, here's a good look at the packaging i gotta say the actual box art he looks really good uh, the figure, at least in the plastic, is not quite as impressed with, but uh, like I said up top, pretty impressed, I would say. Uh, the Wheel of Destiny here, Free Ranger, Free Shake, Free Loop, and Free Charging, and that's your base four that came out. This whole Wave 2 thing, I know last year they hit us with it pretty early. I did not expect to get Wave 2, you know, two, three days after the launch of the game, but... Uh, whatever happens, happens. Also, Sam's Club has it. I'm kind of defeating the purpose of making that video. I guess I might just upload this one. Uh, we'll see what happens. Here's a look at the rest of the packaging. Again, he is an Air Element Swap Force carry. Character, Legendary Free Ranger. Whip up a storm. Again, that really is his slogan. Hoot Loops is going to be Let's Ruffle Some Feathers. So uh, pay attention to that factory air if you need more information. I mentioned it in both the unboxing of Hoot Loop and Enchanted Hoot Loop. Uh, Free Ranger and Legendary Free Ranger Swap Force ability is going to be Spin. Coming around here to the back side there, of course, is the ubiquitous Blast Zone and Wash Buckler becoming Blast Buckler. There you see it in the inset. Legendary Free Ranger. There he is in game. He will have that color scheme in game, just like we've seen with all legendaries. Doesn't look too bad there. This actually looks like more of a black and gold. But uh, create 250 plus combinations, and once more, swap zone power is spin. The four featured here on the back Magna Charge, Free Ranger's regular form, Rattle Shake, and Hoot Loop. Of course, being a swapper, he's only compatible with Skyliner Swap Force. Free Ranger seems to have a big following. When I was at E3, I filmed for a couple of people, you know, while they did gameplay. Uh, he seemed to always get rave reviews. Uh, that just kind of continued as, you know, they've released more information and, you know, video clips for us all to uh, kind of commentate and put up on YouTube for you. Pretty much has a uh, legit following straight from the beginning, so... Should be interesting now to see if that continues. I don't see that really changing. He looks pretty damn impressive. 
This is the easiest I've gotten into a swapper so far. I've done several single packs. It's still kind of tore. The thing is, if you were to shut this back up, it would actually cover up nicely. Oh, there we go. Uh, like I said, this was the easiest one. Again, sometimes I know a lot of people actually, you know, ditch like the blister pack and they'll actually keep this for the artwork. And Giants, it was done real nice. They seem to have switched the adhesives. Again, that's probably more detail than anyone cares, but uh, now that that's gone, this makes it really easy for me. Again, there he is from the back side. Already looks a little better uh, than through the front of the packaging. We'll slide this down interested to see if it's taped uh, it is actually taped this is the very first uh, single swap force character I've had that was taped uh, so that's kind of an item of interest there I'll pin him back uh, that's of course gonna tear the you know little tag I guess but uh, pretty hysterical the way they break into there let's uh, slide the stat card and sticker sheet this is where they're located down there just like we saw with Giants Pretty tough to get the top half out. Uh, that seems to have been the most difficult thus far, at least for me. That came out fairly easily. Maybe it's because I'm getting more experienced or I've done free ranger before. Uh, the bottom side, let's see if we can do that. But yeah, cakewalk. Didn't expect it to go that easy. We can fold that up, stick it back in. Again, if you are a person that opens them and then reseals them, you know, not theoretically but you know shuts them back up to where you can't tell that it was open but you played with it whatever your logic you know you can do that type of thing so we'll set that to the side here of course is the top end i guess legendary free and uh, then there's the bottom end let's go ahead and put it together okay uh looks a lot better in all in all honesty in hand in person up close than it did through the plastic Sometimes that becomes an issue. A lot of times, you know, some of the colors don't radiate through. The lighting isn't quite as well, what have you. Don't exactly know what it is, but uh, he looks much better just right here than he did through the plastic. So I can't complain about that. Uh, he's, of course, legendary color scheme is going to be like a dark navy blue and a gold. Again, I'm not a huge fan of gold. Uh, this blue is really pushing it towards the point of blackness. What I will say I think is cool they actually went in and uh, it still kind of has that translucent hue to the tornado but it's actually kind of got that same color scheme it's actually matched very well the gold i like the way it's only at the top kind of you know the top of the vortice if you will there are the blades they're extremely detailed you can kind of see like a lightning flash on the top of that he's got his uh i don't know what you'd call him i guess talons or something Anyway, uh, we won't worry about that. Again, note the lightning bolt. It's got the gold plating there. If you note, I actually didn't see this on Ray. I did. I just didn't realize what it was. But I believe the way these swirls are done, if it'll come into focus for you, I don't know that it will. Uh, that actually does look like the air element. So uh, this is one of those things. The coloration kind of brings that out. It's not near as prevalent. You can see it, but it doesn't actually look like the air element logo. Again, his slogan, whip up a storm, very fitting. Again, I'm a weather buff, bit of a weather fanatic. That's always cool to me. It reminds me, you know, reminiscences of Warnado. Uh, again, his swap force ability is going to be spin. That's what's indicated by that cyclone or vortex. And again, that ties in well with his base. Uh, the story on Free Ranger, of course, going to be the same for the legendary version. And there's a look at that lightning plume. That looks really good in the gold, actually. Um, kind of be cool if that was glow in the dark as well when I think about it. Anyway, um, <laughs> Free Ranger was hatched during a storm when a thunderous bolt of lightning struck his egg. From that very moment, his destiny was clear. He would become the greatest storm chaser ever known. He spent his entire life pursuing hur hurricanes, uh, spinning inside tornadoes and riding lightning, but a day came when he encountered a storm unlike any other it was unnatural and ominous, billowing with evil and leaving only desolation in this week. Free Ranger was standing at its edge on the verge of jumping in, and moments before uh, boldly leaping in, he was stopped by Eon. As you might have guessed, Eon informed Free Ranger this was actually the darkness, not to jump in to join him and to help uh, fight the darkness by becoming a Skylander. That's what he did, and he has been serving to protect Cloudbreak Islands ever since. 
again here's a uh, look around there at the back side the armor is pretty nice it's got the satchel overlapped in the navy let's go ahead now that's actually looks like the air element kind of on his uh, chest plate there as well so of course obviously right there's the air element logo but if you take that and kind of look at the armor you can kind of see what I was alluding to now what you're probably really interested in is the comparison between these two again the legendaries most people either like them or hate them I feel like a lot of people hate them uh, there are certain characters it looks really good on and there are certain characters that it doesn't look so great on uh, one glaring example is Slam Bam, particularly, you know, comparing straight across the Series 2 pulls. Series 2 Slam Bam, killer pulls, looks incredible. One of the best yet, uh, including everything I've seen out of Swap for so far. The Legendary just kind of kind of kills that vibe for me. Uh, Free Ranger looks pretty dadgum good as is. Again, I really like the coloration there. It's kind of a translucent blue, storming gray, if you will on the tornado uh, the blues the golds the yellows the orange they all just kind of tie in really well together that said um you know again it's one of those deals in the packaging it wasn't just online this one was literally i picked this up launch day and uh it didn't look very good through the packaging have to say it's way better uh getting it out of the plastic again i can't explain that uh, maybe it's a particular to one person's eyes. Someone else might, you know, perceive it differently. I don't know. But for what it's worth, in my personal opinion, he looks way better uh, out of the packaging. I really can't complain too much about his legendary coloring now that I've got it, you know, in hand. That said, flipping them around to the back, uh, you kind of see one little area where they didn't have as much detail just on the top. He's kind of got that phoenixy orange-yellow glow with the white. And then on the legendary version, it's just all the navy till you get to the plume, which is again kind of the uh, gold color. This actually looks like it could glow in the dark. I don't think it can. I think it's a clear that they painted over. Uh, the blade gears, really the gold kind of highlights that lightning bolt look a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, the vortex, or lower end, whatever you want to call it. I think I'd have to give the edge to this one just because it looks more natural. And again, I'm a bit of a weather buff. Uh, man, overall, I mean, if I had to pick one, if someone were to ask me, which that's what people do, is which one did you like better, I'd probably stick with the regular version. That said, the Legendary uh, didn't have high expectations, particularly just looking at it at the start of this video. Now I have to say it actually looks fairly nice. I'm, you know, impressed with it, so... Uh, that's the good news there. We're going to do something now, if I can. Let me come over here, find uh, Free Rangers cards. Maybe somewhere in here. There we go. All right, we've got our legendary Free Ranger card. As you can see, it's indicated on the sidebar. Coloring matches again. If it was this shade of blue, you know, kind of like a couple shades brighter than that dark navy they put them in, it's almost black. I think it would make a world of difference. Uh, looks awesome like that. I uh, don't know why I got a text. It's like 4.30 in the morning. Uh, that said, behind here we have his sticker sheet. Uh, interesting thing here. This is not a full-size swapper. This is not the two-part. This is just like we saw with Nitro Magna Charge. Uh, so it looks like your standard fare swappers, you know, regular Free Ranger, uh, wash buckler and regular magnet charge they're gonna have the two pieces that are a bit bigger overall and then i'm guessing that all of our special and limited ones are actually going to have you know regular skylander size that you know aren't two piece that said legendary free ranger his power 115 of 200 armor 150 of 200 that's pretty stout agility 110 of 200 luck 100 of 200 looking like that's going to be pretty impressive totals here let's go ahead and try to add them up we've got uh 115 150 that's going to be 265 375 475 uh seems like we've been having some 480s let's compare this now to the stat card on regular free ranger they are 
Okay, uh, the way it works out, Legendary Free Ranger plus 5 on Agility, 105 versus 110, and then plus 10 on Luck, 90 versus 100. So overall attribute count plus 15 for Legendary Free Ranger. Again, I'll have to actually get these guys in the game, do a head-to-head -head comparison there to see what we've got. But, uh, if you are into the Legendaries, this is a very cool thing. This is the time to buy legendaries. I know most people wait until like Christmas or the spring or the sun. I don't know why. Uh, you know, I realize there's a lot of people don't live anywhere near a Toys R Us. Again, people in the Megalopolis areas take that for granted because you've got like six of them within 30 minutes of you. Uh, I'm pretty lucky, I guess, to just have one in town if they ever ticked me off or didn't have anything. I'm literally on the road for, you know, probably, I guess the first one would be about 100, 120 miles away, uh, maybe a little farther than that. Uh, if that doesn't happen, I'm driving basically four hours, uh, <laughs> north, south, east, or west, really past there. Um, so keep that in mind, you know, there are some people that fall in that category, but for everyone that has a Toys R Us, Seriously, save yourself the trouble. Don't wait until the last minute and have to rush around and order it on eBay and pay extra or, you know, do some third-party sell on Amazon. And God forbid, don't put yourself out double the money on Craigslist or something. Just buy it now. I mean, I can't stress it enough. At launch, these things are literally falling off the pegs. Toys R Us, uh... They have an incredible stock at launch. They did it with Giants. They did it again with Swap Force. Uh, literally, this isn't a deal where there's like a ton of everything and then there's like six or seven legendaries. They've got multiple pegs of these guys. They've got bunches of them in the back. Just go ahead and get it now. If you know you're going to get it or you're going to want it, make it a priority. It's the type of thing, just like Nitro Magna Charge, that may go away, might get hard to find. You'll have to pay a premium for it. Bite the bullet, pick it up. There's a great sale right now. Buy one, get one 40%. Take advantage of it. If you even just go in there and get Free Ranger, and Light Core Grim Creeper, and Legendary Trim, you've got it behind you. You don't have to worry about it. That's my best advice for you because in the long run, it's going to save you time, hassle, headache, and ultimately money. So keep that one in mind. Uh, if you don't care for the you know Legendary versions, no sweat. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you're on the fence about it, here's the way I look at it. If you have the 3DS, you've got one Free Ranger. You can either choose to pick up a second one, and if you do that, you might as well go Legendary. Or if you don't have a 3DS and you want Free Ranger, pick one out. But the main thing is, for the people that want to explore both paths, you have to have a second one anyway. My logic is it might as well be a special one with better attributes from the beginning. That's why I justify it. But uh, again, I do like the legendaries personally, even if some of them do not look quite as well as their standard counterpart. They do have better attributes in the game. They look different in the game, and it makes it easy, you know, to distinguish between the two. Should you take them down the, you know, separate paths. That said, that is about all she wrote here for Free Ranger. We've covered him uh, several times now, but uh, looks pretty good. Like I said, got him out of the packaging. Looks a bit better. Again, personally, uh, if we could see this dark navy kind of be that color that you see on that box art, uh, I would be even more impressed and a little bit happier overall. That said, what it really looks like, it's I feel like this inset here, it's almost like a black. And then I feel like this is a several shades lighter from the navy blue. The actual figure, in my opinion, it's not totally black, it's a couple shades there, but it's a bit farther from what you see on this front box art than it is on what you see in the back. I feel like the back is is going to be a pretty good representation of it. I'll have to get him in the game and see, but again, uh, what did I say, $16.99 at Toys R Us. There is the buy one, get one 40% right now at launch, which is great. Again, personal advice, if your kids are going to want them, if you want them, if you're a collector... Get them now. There's plenty of stock. You don't have to worry about it. You'll save money in the long run. And in particular, you'll get 40% knocked off Light Core Grim Creeper or your second legendary Free Ranger, whatever you're doing. 
Uh, nonetheless, that is it. That is Legendary Free Ranger exclusive to Toys R Us. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them here on YouTube. For a quicker response, I suggest you use the blog, oneofweasem.com. You can take that uh, link at the top of the video description box. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Again, thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. That'll keep you up with all the latest. And as Free Ranger would say, whip up a storm.